viewers to our next lesson. So in the previous lessons, we saw how we are creating points and also giving description of various points and also point groups. So here you will see, you will find that we have points already imported from a file or from LandXML. So our next lesson, I'm going to show you how now we can create a surface. So what is a surface? A surface is just what describes uh, the boundary is the central part of an object uh, and can be referenced by alignments, parcels, and other objects throughout the, the parcels. So we have uh, got various surfaces. So when you look here, you can see uh, how we can add data to a surface. So the type of surface that we're going to use is called the TIN surfaces. TIN surfaces is a tri triangulated irregular network, which is a line, is one of the lines that makes up the surface triangulation at least so that you can see how your, your parcel looks like once you've imported the points. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how now we can add what we call contour data. We are going to show how we add contours, how we can create boundaries in our surface, and also how there's a boundary line. These are our contours, and this is our surface points. So in this sample, you can see how the surface are going to be created. This is just a, a, a brief description on how the parcel looks like. So you, you can see how, where to put your brake lines. We've got uh, how to create a TIN surface. So when we go come back to our software, or save a 3D program, I'm going to show you how now you can create a surface. To create a surface, you simply click on the surface or under home, we've got surfaces. Yes. So you can create surface or you just right click to create a surface. So there are two ways. You can right click on the surface or come to surface under create ground data, then you click create surface. So when you're creating a surface, this is our, you have to give your surface a name. So you can just click inside there, then you give it a surface, a, a name. It can be like maybe, you can type like maybe, Nairobi County that's our surface and then this is our style so this style will show us the boundaries you can click on this uh, button when you click on style you can click on that button and then you can change your style these are various styles you can pick and see how it's applied and then you have the render material remember we are defining our parcel of land so the render material I can put maybe grass so short, then you click OK. So once you create our surface, you are given it a name, you click OK. So in the when you expand the surface, you will find that now we have our surface that we have already created. I've just given it a name, an example, like Nairobi County. So I want to map these points mm, so that we can see the boundaries, the contours. Mm, on this particular, using these particular points on that particular surface. So when you expand the sur surface that we have created, on the definition, you also expand the definition. So these are various definitions. So you can create a boundary, you can create a break line, you can show contours, you can draw objects. Mm. So I want to map my surface, these points, into my surface. So when you expand the definition on the surface, you can see we have point groups. So when you right click, on the point group, you click on add, so you can see our point groups are here. So in, our ex in this, we are going to click on all points, and then you apply, then you click OK. So when you click OK, now you'll see how our surface are created. So this is the boundary, mm, and then we have, we have, we've got also contours. I can also come to drawing four, then I create my surface, I just right click and then I give my surface a name like uh, maybe maybe road A mm. then I can change these descriptions these are just the boundaries the contours about contours of the style and then you change to maybe grass short or thick then you click OK so I can expand my surfaces, that's road A, you can see from the screen. Then you also expand on definition, and then you want to map those point groups to 
that the service that you have created so we have those all points you click apply and then you click OK yes so now you can see how the surfaces are created so this is our boundary defining that parcel the boundary will be shown and then these are contours mm -hmm. so you can see how these contours looks like how they are connected with uh, with, with with points which already we have inserted here so we, after mapping so we can right click on the same same surface that we have created then you click on surface properties so you can see the style so these are various styles you can pick change a style when you click apply you'll see how now the surface uh, looks like so we have major contours and minor contours so in this parcel at least you can see how your parcel looks like in this uh, for example road a i can click on surface i can go back to one meter and five meter design takes me back there so this is our surface so now you can see how the uh, how your surface looks like so you can also view it in 3d maybe you can come there and make it realistic and then turn to 3d can turn it up to 3D. Let me see realistic or conceptual. Yes. So you can see how your surface looks like. You can see this part. It's a bit hilly where the contours were, were very many. You can see the nature of your land. So you can zoom, you can pan, you can see this part. See this part is hill, it's hilly. Also, this other side, we have like uh, there's a there's something like a lake, and this is the hill. This is the hilly part. When you zoom, when you try to pan and uh, also orbit, you can see how your land looks like in 3D. So you can see the hilly part, mm -hmm. the flat area. This like a it can be it can be a lake or a swamp or just a flat place and then this place is also hilly you can see that so you can see how you are parcel of land or the, the parcel that, that you want to design your road network system it looks like this one will help you now to lo locate where you are, go you are going to design your road network so you can still come back under custom you can click top and then it takes us back then you go to, you click on, maybe to make it a wireframe. So that's how we create surfaces. So on this one, I want to show you how we can also show show what we call arrows, how the how the arrows are flowing, so that you can know, know the direction. Where is the hill part? This is, this was the hilly part. This was like a lake. There's a lake somewhere here, and this place is flat. Yeah, and there's a, a ridge here. So that's how we show. So I'm going to show you how now we can create uh, what we call uh, arrows, slope arrows, or arrows only, so to see how now they are flowing. So when you right click on the surface that you have created, you click on Edit Surface Style. And then, no, not there. You can select the surface. The surface will be selected and then now you can see we also have surface properties or you can simply right click on the surface and then you come to surface properties so i right click then come to surface properties yeah then on the analysis when the analysis tab i want to show uh, slope arrows when you click on slope arrows and then does the legend is a slope arrow and then the number Maybe how many arrows do you want? Maybe I want like three. And then you, you calculate. So when you click on that drop down list, you can see minimum slope and maximum slope. And these are the colors. So in our, this particular surface, the, the arrows will be shown. So you can see the red one shows 0 to 0.02% to, to maximum slope. Then this one to the other slope, just like that. So we have got red, yellow, and blue then just click apply then okay yes 
So to remember the arrows have been created in, in, in layers. So the layer for arrows is put off, so we can put it on. So to put it on, right click and then come to surface, edit surface in style. And then under display, you can see now the display, what has been displayed. We have the border, which was green. We have major contour and minor contours. So when you scroll down, you can find the slope arrows is off. So you can click on that bulb so that you can show the slope arrows. When you click apply, then OK, you will find now how ar your arrows are flowing. So the direction of the arrows will determine how your surface looks like. So you can see you've got these arrows. So this is a hill part. You can see the arrows are flowing this side and this other side. So this means this is a hilly place. Mm. So you can also you, you can also determine where, the, where there's a hill. This is a flat place where the arrows are just flowing anyhow in, in either direction. Yeah, you can see this. Yeah, this, is a, this was a, a flat place or a swamp or a lake. So you can see the arrows are flowing towards the, the lake. So that's how we show arrows and also how we view our 3D object. Again, we can also show what we call, we can also create under surface properties, we can also create arrows. So under, under the analysis, I don't want to show elevations, I want to show only slopes. Yeah, so you can always type three, an example, then you calculate. So you can see these are the color schemes for slopes. So when you click OK, so remember the slopes are also hidden. So we can also come to right click, edit surface in style, and then I want to show slopes. Then you click apply and OK. Now you can see how the slopes looks like. In your, in your parcel. These are the arrows. You can see the arrows. These are called slope arrows. And then these are the slopes. OK. Yes. So that's how we navigate through surfaces and how we create slope arrows and showing slope arrows by putting them on and off. You can also put them on and off if you, for example, arrows, those slope arrows, when you click, I can now put maybe slope arrows off by clicking that, put it off. When you click apply, you'll find out the arrows, the slope arrows are, are hidden. So you can view your parcel of land based on the slo slopes that are shown here. These are the colors in, the, in our legend, which uh, I'll show you how you can place those in a legend so that you can know which color represent what. So thank you, viewers on uh, how in our les lesson four, surfaces and how we can edit surfaces and how we can also add slope arrows and you can add elevations, you can also add uh, slopes in a given surface. So in our next lesson, I'll show you how now we can uh, create what we call alignments. Thank you so much.